So we're at the freezer at the Bird Polar Research Center, and I want to show you the ice cores you can make for your classroom. So come on into the freezer. So we have over seven kilometers of ice. And all these ice cores are used for research, so they're things we can't check you out to use in your classroom, but we're going to show you today how to make an ice core for your classroom. An ice core looks something like this. It shows all the layers and helps your students understand how ice cores are used to understand the Earth's past climate and the things we look for in those ice cores. So my name is Jason Servanek. I'm the Education and Outreach Director at the Bird Polar Research Center. Today we're going to show you how to make an ice core, a series of fake ice cores for your classroom. In order to do this, you don't need a lot of materials. Graduated cylinder of 100 milliliters, some fake insects, an extra large Pringles can that will have you tape the instructions of each of the layers onto, some gravel, instant coffee, two plastic containers, one with chilled water and one with chilled water with some coffee dissolved in it. And a tray that you'll want to use in your class in order to stop the ice core from melting all over the desk. When you're done with the, the instructions today and, all, and making all the layers, pouring all the layers, you'll end up with an ice core that looks something like this. It'll have eight different layers in it. In order to follow these instructions, all you need to do is uh, take the Pringles can, start at the bottom with the eighth layer. It says add 110 milliliters of water. This represents an average precipitation year. So I'll take my graduated cylinder and measure out 110 milliliters of water. It's okay if I'm one millimeter, milliliter over or under. You don't have to be super precise. You want to be in the ballpark. And this will be my first layer. Now, the reason we have you tape the instructions on the side of this container is it's very helpful to mark off that you poured this one so you don't accidentally go back and pour it again. Okay, now I'll go ahead and put this in the freezer. We'll let it freeze in your school or your home uh, overnight here, only about an hour and a half because we have a negative 30 freezer. We want to make sure this freezes is solid so the layers don't blend together when you pour in the next layer. Okay, so we're back now. It's been 24 hours and we're going to pour our second layer. This time the instructions on the side say 60 milliliters of water with dissolved instant coffee. So we're going to go ahead and measure that out. Still using our graduated cylinder. We'll add that to our Pringles can. We'll make sure that we mark it off so we don't pour it a second time. And then we'll let this freeze for 24 hours again. So it's been another 24 hours. We're ready for our third layer now. This one says 60 milliliters of water with dissolved coffee and also some gravel. So we have two things we have to add to this layer. The instant coffee, 60 milliliters, is the same as last time. So we'll add that first. With the gravel, we have to be a little careful. because If we pour the gravel in, it's going to stick to the sides anywhere where the water is touched. So what we recommend is taking a piece of paper and making a funnel. And once you have that funnel, you can go ahead and you can add a little bit of gravel to the surface. Most of it will end up sinking to the bottom. Going and swirling that just a bit to make sure it evenly coats the bottom. And that's our third layer. Once again, don't forget to check it off to make sure you don't end up re-pouring it. Okay, so we're back and it's our fourth day. Now we could go on and keep videotaping forever. But um, the next eight layers are really the same. You'll be using the same materials. The only addition is at some point 
you'll be asked to put an insect in the layer. That's pretty simple, you just drop it in, it ends up freezing in that layer of water. Otherwise, don't forget to check off each of the layers. Remember, it's best to freeze these for 12 to 24 hours before you try to pour the next layer. Thanks for joining us.